Hello welcome everyone welcome to WAGHL. Today we will show you how to send voice note over WhatsApp using chat GPT. You need to create a new workflow or if you already having a workflow under which you like to use the voice notes then you can also do that easily. Let's create a new workflow and we can start from scratch. Here trigger can be anything. You can put any trigger here. Select action as webhook. And you can put any name. As we are putting here voice notes using chat GPT and the method should be post. And in the URL, you need to put the URL link and you can find this URL in the description along with this video. So I am pasting the URL that I am having. And after that in the custom data, you need to add three fields here. One is the chat GPT key. Here you need to put your correct value and you can find this value in your chat GPT login. Now in the second field you have to put the voice and under the voice you need to give the value which you can find in the description of this video. So I putting my voice value here as fable as of now. In the third field, you can write the message which you want to send to the contacts. And then click on save. After clicking on save, don't forget to enable allow re-entry options in the workflow settings. Then click on save and publish this workflow. Now you can test it by clicking on test workflow button. Here select any contact as I am selecting and then click on run test. Now let me show you the message which I just sent by clicking on run test button. Now here, you can check the message is sent to the contact successfully. Here we would like to inform you one more thing here. It is not mandatory to put the chat GPT key here in the custom data of webhook because due to some reason maybe you don't want to show it on workflow. Then you can also put it under your agency admin panel of that particular location. This is optional and it is up to you where you want to put the chat GPT key and if you want to put it under agency admin panel. Then log in into your admin panel. Find the same location and click on edit button of that location. Once you click on edit button, you will find the chat GPT API key option there. Now all you need to do is to paste your value here and then click on update. So in this way you can put your chat GPT value in the admin panel. And if you are putting your values here then you need not to put it in the workflow. It will pick the value from your admin panel and will work smoothly. This is how you can avoid putting values within the workflow. As such both are valid you can put either in the workflow or in the admin panel. This is how you can send voice notes using your chat GPT key with the help of workflow. Thank you.